Hey guys, I'm at Quill. And thanks to them, check that out. Yes. Oh, yes. And it's waiting for me. Just spending some me time with this beautiful boy here. Nice. Even the start engine button is finished in crystal. Now, I learned this. These crystals are from Swarovski. But they're not Swarovski branded, but they're made by Swarovski. Interesting, right? And, um, let's start the car. Oh, that rumble. That's a V8 right there. Okay. I want to look at the little details. All right. Look at how this thing shines. Interesting. I believe the touchpad is still there. Uh, how do I? Okay, let me go navigation first. Quick search. Oh, yes! Oh. I can still write on top of this pad. Nice. Okay, let's go back out. Ooh, the aircon is really cool. Wait, let me. Damn, I like that. See that? So there's a little display over here in between these. And this thing, these, they feel so chunky. Nice. I wonder if these change in... Okay, no. It's just to indicate the volume of air. Nice. And I believe these are touch sensitive. Yes, BMW stuffs has always been there. I'll go through the little details later. Now I just need to uh, position the car nicely. Oh, nice man, nice. Resolution camera. Nice. Let me position it nicely. See the 360 cam? That helps a lot. Move it like that. Ease it here. So I think you guys have seen quite some uh, there are quite some videos out there showing how good the um, reverse camera system of new BMWs are. You see that that's a reversing assistant. So what it does is that it remembers your last 50 60 meters of driving. Uh, let's say you are maneuvering through a very very tight space and then then you realize it's a dead end this guy here remembers the last steering angle how you move and all that and it will reverse you out by itself by remembering the last 50 to 60 meters i think that is brilliant first up we've got the new reversing assistant it remembers the last meters that you drove forward to get yourself into a narrow spot so once it's time to leave again you just switch it into reverse and activate the reverse assistant. It navigates you comfortably back out 
exactly the same way that you got there in the first place while you take care of the accelerating and braking. It's like a personal co-pilot who's always ready to jump in and help out when you need it. Um, how do I... Nice, okay. Woohoo! Look at that! Look at that! That's like a... How do I... Uh, 3D view. My god, okay. So... Follow the hand sign. Okay, I see it detects. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, now I know how, how to do it. Yes! My god! Look at that! No other car has such a feature. So this, gi this gives you a Grand Theft Auto view of your car. Let me try and move the steering wheel. Oh my god, the wheels turn as well. You notice that? Do you notice that? Let's see. Let me show you the wheels. Look at that. It even gives us the trajectory. Damn. This is brilliant. And uh, definitely the rear view of the car is the prettiest. So that is fantastic. And there are certain things that you guys might not know. Look at this. Okay, let me. Can you see that? That's an SOS button. Oh, fighter jet. You open this and then you press SOS and then your car will call and someone will pick up. Now, what does it do? The SOS button, uh, only BMW has it. All right, what it does is that, let's say you are. Um, you're a, you're a lady okay I'm being sexist here but let's just put it that, that way assume my wife okay she's driving any BMW any BMW has it it's not just the A series right and then you're at a lonely road next to KIA you you went lost and then you notice there are two cars behind you following you and then you got panic and then you're worried you can make a phone call to the police but then you do not know where you are if the police ask you where are you and then you can't tell but you press this button someone will pick up a call and then you tell them that someone is tailing me now I'm getting very very worried BMW knows where you are they will help you contact the authorities and come and assist you only BMW has these features yup SOS things can happen when you're on the road so it's good to know that the intelligent emergency call is there to assist you around the clock seven days a week at home and abroad in case of an accident crash and airbag sensors activate an emergency call to the BMW call center in the process a set of relevant data such as the number of passengers and their presumed state of injury as well as the exact position of your car is sent automatically to the BMW call center and the nearest rescue service provider Thanks to a built-in crash-proof SIM card, your intelligent emergency call remains operational at all times. Until rescue arrives, specially trained call center staff will keep contact with you in your native language, while a second staff member simultaneously coordinates with the rescue workers. The intelligent emergency call can also be activated manually via the SOS button in the roof liner, should you or other traffic participants need assistance. And not only that, they have the concierge service. So the concierge service is, uh, I've had a video explaining concierge service. Uh, what it does is that it, maybe they call it the end of the assistance now. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure. But concierge service, right, is something that you can, you can any BMW again, even a one series has it, even a one series will have it, three series or whatever. You press the button, someone will pick out a call and then you just say that I need you to help me find the best um, Hainanese restaurant or Arabic restaurant or where's the nearest library or what's the circumference of the earth they will tell you Again, only BMW has this kind of service Are you ever on the road and need help but don't have time to stop? Introducing Concierge Services, a free personal assistant available 24 7 
that can find you restaurants, movie times, flight information, the next petrol station, and more. They can even find a hotel and book a room for you, all while you keep your eyes on the road and hands on the wheel. First, select Connected Drive on your iDrive menu by pressing the iDrive controller. After you select Info Plus and start service, there'll be a friendly voice ready to help. Good afternoon, BMW Connected Drive. You're speaking to Robert Beck. How may I help you? Once you get the information you need, it's automatically sent to your navigation system so you can live your life the way you want. Concierge Services. And then the next part will be Connected Drive. Connected Drive is a fantastic app that comes with your BMW and then you can register your car and all that, link up your Google accounts and all that, and then you can make meetings and appointments in your Google uh, calendar, which is linked to your connected drive. The moment you come up to your car, your GPS is already set towards that direction. On, again, only BMW. Your BMW connected drive experience starts with connected drive services a library of services and apps that are accessible from right behind the wheel. Anytime, anywhere, even abroad, thanks to the embedded SIM card of BMW Connected Drive. BMW Online is an in-car online portal that offers news, weather forecasts, online search, office functions, and further applications from right behind the wheel. To get there, select Connected Drive from the main menu, and then BMW Online. In the news section, stay informed by categories such as the economy, sports, and world news. For minimum distraction, you can have the news read out to you aloud. When you choose a weather forecast, the current day or a five-day forecast is available, as well as precipitation radar maps. Online search, powered by Google, allows you to search for points of interest via free text or by popular categories such as fuel stations, hotels, and restaurants. You can enter your search terms via the iDrive controller or simply by using your voice. And if that wasn't enough, you can turn your BMW into your mobile office using BMW online office functions. Once you've configured your email account, you have full access to your emails using the iDrive controller or voice command. If you wish, integrate your address book by setting it up in the BMW Connected Drive customer portal. In the portal, you can also create text templates that can be used to answer mails from your car quickly and easily. In addition, there are further applications that will keep you fully informed, for instance, about the nearest car park or country-specific speed restrictions and traffic regulations. Your smartphone is your everyday companion, and so are the apps that you use. Wouldn't it be great if you could continue to use them in your car? That's why we integrated the most popular apps right into the BMW Connected Drive system. The BMW Connected app gives you access to functions such as Facebook, Twitter, Wikilocal, News, Web Radio, and Calendar. To get started, download the BMW Connected app, free of charge, from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Then connect your smartphone via USB cable or snap-in adapter and select Connected Drive in the main menu. Scroll down to BMW Apps and access your favorite apps right here. For example, stay in touch with your friends via Facebook and Twitter, or listen to radio stations from all around the world with web radio. You'll also find useful car-related apps like Last Mile Navigation or the Eco Pro Analyzer, which evaluates the efficiency of your driving style. There are even more apps that you can use in your BMW. As long as an app is BMW Apps Ready, you can access it just as easily in your BMW control display. Just check in the handheld mode of the BMW Connected app which apps are BMW apps ready. You'll find a great variety of useful apps such as Alpeo, Stitcher, Snippy, Deezer, TuneIn, Audible, or Glimpse. More apps are being added all the time. In the car, select more apps to rapidly switch between the different BMW apps ready applications. Once Connected Drive Services is installed, you can shop for even more services from the BMW Connected Drive store. Your personalized driving experience can begin. Connected Drive Services. And what else is only BMW? I mean, certain 
quite a few brands offer free maintenance services and all that but BMW has been doing it so you buy a BMW you're only paying a monthly payment that's it nothing else zilch nothing yeah anyway let's continue on with the car Some little me time. Now the car feels very snug inside here. Okay, even though um, the previous six series, I mean not previous, the current six series. Oh no, the current is a six GT. Okay, now um, those of you who are not my first time viewers, uh, oh those of you who are my first time viewers, you all would. Uh, what am I saying? <laughs> Those of you who know me long enough, you know I have a 6 Series, uh, which is the, the latest generation 6 Series, the F12 or F13, depending it's a coupe or a um, cabriolet. Mine is a cabriolet. And BMW now no longer have a, a 6 Series Grand Touring Coupe, but what sort of replaces it will be this one, but then this is one one segment one level of build quality higher this is the 8 series now and what makes this interesting is this the previous 6 series right they made it into a a big long grand tourer it's not very sporty everybody said that car is a little bit boaty including myself right i find that the car is pretty heavy pretty boaty but it's very comfortable on long cruises this round the 8 series they want to combine what makes for a sports car and a Grand Tourer. So the positioning of this, right, they, they are not intending to go head on with the S-Class Coupe because the S-Class Coupe is an even bigger boat. It's more, more car, more metal, more leather than the 6 Series even. It's very heavy, it's very um, luxurious, yes. But Ulu Yam Session, nah. It's not a car you want to go Ulu Yam with, okay? Even the 6 Series, the one that I have, uh, even when I go Ulu Yam, right, it's like, yes, I can do it, but I still feel it's a bit hectic. I mean, in terms of its size and weight and the overall bloatiness of the car. So, BMW thinks, what is a BMW two-door luxurious uh, coupe or Grand Tourer should be? So, this car is now nearer to an Aston Martin than to a uh, the, what the old 6 Series is or what the S-Class Coupe is. They did not set out to emulate an S-Class Coupe making a huge big boat of Grand Tourer, two-door Grand Tourer. So they set forth in this to go with the likes of, you, think, you can think along the line of a Maserati Gran Turismo you can think along the line of an Aston Martin uh, DB9 right big car so this one has the uh, familiar very very powerful relatively fuel efficient 4.4 uh, V8 twin turbo this engine is in the M5 is in this one this is called the M850i so it's not an M8 per se but it is what BMW would position as the uh, let's let's put it this way, the M340i. Uh, back then you have the uh, M140i. You know, these are the top range versions before you go full M. Okay, and I will say full M. You might get a lot more carbon fiber stuff, Alcantara stuff. Not exactly the kind of luxurious sensation that you get inside here. So. It's more snug compared to my car uh, and from all the reviews I read, I cannot drive this because I wouldn't even want to drive this because this is Quill Automobiles only car, only model here and it's for sale and uh, it's good for them enough to shift it from the showroom here for me to do this video. Let's just put it this way, if BNW Malaysia has an official unit, definitely I'll drive it, right? But this is for them to sell, someone needs to make a living off it, better not touch it too much. And it's just beautiful, okay? and, and of course it's 1 million plus. Alright, so this one feels a lot tighter, and from all the reviews, it's a lot more uh, 
agile and fun to drive. I can't wait to drive this car. I can't wait to drive this car. And um, the other thing that um, we're happy to see is that BMW has thoroughly, thoroughly up their interior build quality. Uh, they're not as flamboyant when it comes to styling as Mercedes-Benz. Uh, Mercedes-Benz employ a kind of um, uh, sometimes it's a little bit old school but it's beautiful design nonetheless but BMW is more avant-garde okay the general theme for BMW's uh, luxury models you know the 7 series the 8 series the X7 will be modern luxury so modern luxury is not the type where you have all the rounded aircon vents you know a lot of lights or chandelier that kind of feel but it's more technology I would call it I would just sum up modern luxury as avant-garde okay and of course this is the new speedo you see the the ref counter is the one that we have to get used to you see it comes up from the right side and uh, oof, that's a v8 <laughs> it moves the car when you just prop the throttle a little bit even a little bit that and this steering wheel is very familiar from the 5 series love all these build qualities sensational build everything feels so solid everything feels so nice to touch I don't know how to explain this it's not the inviting type you look at this interior right? it's not the type where it calls up to you and say come and touch me you know come and caress me but it's not but then as you sit down here you slowly feel all the uh, edges and finishing and the points where different parts meet each other the build is absolutely stunning okay this is just i have to say this this kind of build uh, previously was pretty exclusive with all these but then anyway we've seen this kind of build in the new 5 series the new 7 series they're all so damn well built even the volume knob this little surface is crystal very nice very very nice hmm can't wait to drive this car card on yeah what else is here for me to explore um, the map yep got the map and it's so responsive absolutely responsive the navigation GPS coordinates the screen resolution the um, do I want to go to that word pixel density <laughs> show you guys something when you open the door, this flashes red. Why? At night, some cyclists might be coming from the back. So when you open the door, they use they use the ambient lighting to flash in red color to just warn people coming from behind. That is very thoughtful. Yep. And um, this feels so good, man pure solid single piece metal as your door handle lovely lovely should I rev it oh my god I'm not even in any mode you know just just I'm just prodding the throttle this is epic I love this kind of sound. Love it, love it. All right, guys, that's a good interior view to touch more about the car. And for those of you, Datin Datin Datot Datot Scallion, this car is available at Quill Automobiles over here at PJ. Thank you so much to Quill for uh, letting me 
come and spend time with this car and um, yep so you guys can come over and uh, check out the 8 series it's not 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 everywhere has the 8 series to be honest so uh, come over here check out the car touch it you know start it buy it and these guys are pretty nice cool yeah full model range they have their new ci uh renovated right and absolute great sales guy yeah